Uh, we've all been witnessing uh, civil disobedience, um, a developing culture of people who have no sense of responsibility to anybody, no sense of submission to authority. Uh, we see a whole generation of people who don't know what a father is, and, and a father is the primary authority figure in the life of a child. There, there, is a, there is a rebel spirit that is unleashed in our culture, and it's pervasive in our society. And so those who are in authority uh, are assaulted and attacked it's even in politics, it's the politics of destruction. It's uh, how fast and how thoroughly can you destroy someone who might be a position, in a position of authority. In the home, it's um, complete disregard for parents. In the school, it's disregard for the teachers. And it shows up most dramatically in this attitude that exists toward the police. But what does the Bible say about that? The Bible says that we are to submit to everyone who is over us because they have been placed there by God. The powers that be are ordained of God. That doesn't mean they're perfect, but they are ordained of God. And they're ordained of God to punish evildoers and protect those who do good. That's what the Bible says. We are to honor the king and we are to honor all who are in authority over us. Now remember, that was said by the Apostle Paul in a time when the Roman government was corrupt to the core and ruled by Caesars who were immoral, murderous beings. There wasn't the kind of justice that we even know today, but we are still to submit. We are to live, says the New Testament, quiet, peaceable lives so that people can look at us and see our obedience to God, even in the way we act toward the civil authorities. What we're seeing in this violent assault on authority, in this effort to undermine authority, to strip authority like the police of, of their power and their ability to do what they do, that is punish evildoers and protect those who do good, what we're seeing is the disintegration of an entire society. The culture is in collapse. Throw in this, throw in the transgender notion, the idea that we don't know what is male and what is female, and you have just struck the terminal blow at authority. If we don't have men in authority, if we don't even know who men are, we, we don't know who women are to be. We don't know what a home is. We don't know what a marriage is. We don't know what a family is. We don't know what to teach children. The chaos is just now beginning. It is an immoral revolution that could rival the collapse of the Roman Empire, which fell under very similar circumstances.